guys how you doing nice to chat to you very good great, Scott. Cool, Scott. Hello. Uh, it's a fantastic film congratulations on on it it is a remarkable piece of work uh for you two being i wanted to ask you both about being part of this this unique world you know it's it's part of history people in desperate times looking for desperate measures and you two are kind of in the middle of that uh harry maybe i'll start with you and just the the kind of the world that Antonio has created and these characters I mean it must have been such an amazing experience oh yeah absolutely um I, every single character in this film is so colorful and vivid uh, it truly is an ensemble um and I don't think you can say that for many films but this film truly is an ensemble in terms of every single character gets an arc gets a story um and Antonio, in terms of the world he created, it was it was um, it was it was amazing. Not only the literal world that you see in the film, but the world you know the set. The being on set was a wonderful thing. It was a very relaxed set, which is always, I think, the best sets. Um, it allows you to sort of go places when you need to, which I think this film demands. So uh, yeah, it, it was uh, from start to finish a wonderful thing. Yeah, you know the uh, big big cast, right? Um, and lovely people, um, lovely crew. So for for me, it was yeah. The role was was first and foremost, of course. But I right along with that, I, it was it was important for me to. Well, actually, I guess in order to feel comfortable in the role, I, I wanted to feel comfortable in my surroundings, and that's the people. Just making connections with the people around me. Um, was very important and and I think I did that and and it helped me just to kind of relax you know into this role and 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 really just kind of attempt to send it yeah and it's it's a it's a remarkable piece of, of history which you know obviously British people don't know too much about and it's wonderful to see that world and those characters come to life I just wondered for both of you maybe Harry I'll start with you about any research that you did because you guys obviously uh, the preachers and all those guys at that particular time were in the middle of you know, post-war kind of people trying to, to get their lives back together and to try and find a uh, try and find an outlet for their for their their rage and their confusion, if you like. Yeah, well, Antonio sent through these amazing um, old videos of uh, preachers preaching, mostly snake handling. Actually, that was sort of our, our go-to. Um, and you're right, the world of it is is extraordinary. It's um, it's it's one of energy, and um, you know these characters are electric. And so that was sort of, uh, I guess, my starting point for for Roy. How do I try and get there? How do I try and make the people in that congregation feel what I feel watching someone do this extraordinary thing? Um, so that was, yeah, that was kind of the starting block, so to speak. And then I just kind of built on from there. Um, well, you're right. It is an extraordinary period of time. You know, this sort of limbo between the Second World War and Vietnam. It's a really sort of everyone's sort of finding their feet. Yeah, it's extraordinary. Yeah, and Pokey, for you, I mean, was there? Much, did you do much research into into these particular types of characters for you to kind of get into their get into their headspace, if you like? Well, for me, you know, there was. The, I think that the the feelings that that Theodore was having, his his the repression, the depression, um, the anxiety, the the angst. I think that's a, fortunately it's a timeless thing. Perhaps it's a part of life. Um, I didn't necessarily have to place his emotions in a certain time other than his, his, his repressed homosexuality, perhaps, you know, and then how that was so, so strong. It's a black and white cut dry in those times. Uh, for me, I've had a lot of uh, interaction with people in the South, you know, um, perhaps that was more of a subconscious thing. Um, but the physicality of it, I did, I did feel the, the need to study people who had no use of their legs, um, who, who operated wheelchairs and, and things like that. I think that was such a big part of, of, of the conveying the role itself. Yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, my time is up, but thank you so much for your time. I love the film, so I wish you all, all the best with it. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Thanks. Scott. Thanks guys. Thanks, Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 